Hey, hello world. Welcome to my couch. Today we're going to do a little guitar show and tell because I bought a new guitar and I feel like showing it off and telling you about it. So, this is it. It's very yellow. It's very cool. I like it a lot. It is a um, Ibanez, a uh, RG EX or RG um, 450 EXB, which is not a. It's not a super expensive guitar. It was about 268, I think, after tax, which is not much considering all the features they pack into this guy. So let's get into it. Okay, first off, the uh, let's go with the pickups very important piece. So these uh, pickups are Ibanez Quantums, which is like a lot of, uh, like pretty much everything on this guitar is like Ibanez's own design, which is cool. I think it's really nice and it kind of cuts cost for them. So they can give it to you at that price, but they do a good job, so I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, okay, it's configured with a uh, bridge humbucker, neck humbucker, and in the middle here is a uh, single coil, which I thought was kind of neat. You don't really see that configuration on some like some of these like more like guitars that are built for like typically heavier styles of music like the RG series is. So it adds a nice bit of variety. Um, theirs are controlled with this uh, five-way toggle. Pretty simple, basic controls. Also has a uh, volume and tone, just you know as basic as it gets. Straightforward, simple, and it works. So, nothing to complain about there. It has a, uh, the Ibanez Wizard 3 neck, they call it. It is a maple neck, as you can tell from the back. It's very smooth, I like it. Very easy to move up and down. The, uh, fingerboard is also very smooth, very responsive. Very low action on this guitar, which is nice. Very fast playing, if you into that. It does have a uh, double walking tremolo, which is really awesome. Let me adjust this camera down a little bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah, it allows you whammy in both ways. But it always return back to tune, pretty much. It does a really good job of it, with uh, thanks to these fine tuners and the locking nut. It's a good setup for one of these. It is um, a little bit hard when you first put strings on it to get them like to stay in tune because that's the way new strings are. So it's a bit of a fight and tuning it up at first is a little hard, changing strings is a little hard, but once you get it in, you're pretty good to go. Um, I think that about covers all the hardware on it. How about we just play it? So let's go. Alright, let's, uh, let's start off with a little bit of clean-ish, not super clean, because I don't like to go too clean. That's not clean in the slightest. There we go. It's actually a really good tone. I like that a lot. I am running this through a Boss Katana, which is a pretty crazy amp, and that could definitely be a video on its own. Maybe that'll be the next video. Anyway, I'm just kind of going through different positions here. Feels really nice. But let's be real, if you're using this guitar, you're probably not using the clean settings all that often. It's kind of, the guitar is kind of made for slightly heavier music, so let's go back up to that uh, more distorted 
tones. Let's see what we can get, shall we? That's a little bit better for this guitar, I feel. This is where it really shines. That low action and like just super fast like fretboard make that so easy. Not that I'm good at it. Well, like if I was good at it, it'd be better, obviously. But and then this, the the whammy bar is what's key, because let's be real, that's where all the fun is. Getting to do stuff like. Uh, Those dive bombing effects. Honestly, that was probably half the reason I bought this guitar. <laughs> um, this is the first guitar I have that has one of these. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I play with it all the time. I don't know how to make, like necessarily incorporate it. I mean, people have, obviously, but um, it's fun. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, but for now, it's just really fun. You know, you can do cool stuff with it, and... It's just a good time. And even with the high distortion too, these pickups are really nice because they don't produce too much like ambient noise. Even like on humbucker or on um, single coil, which single coils tend to have more noise, but it's not bad. So that's that's a good sign. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. It was definitely worth. I can't believe that they sell these things so cheap. It would be uh you'd be hard pressed to find a new guitar that has similar hardware and specs at that price. I can't really think of any. So uh, if you come across one, um, they're not super rare. I think they are like exclusive to Guitar Center and Musician's Friend, I think. Like, uh, or some other like online retailer, I think. But uh, I mean, the RG series is super common, so I'm sure they have others that are very similar to this one. And all sorts of colors, you don't have to get in yellow. I know some people don't like the yellow, but I kind of really like the yellow. There's also a pink that's pretty cool. If it was there, it prob I might have went with the pink because it would just be so like jarringly different from the rest of mine. But the yellow does a pretty good job of it. Um, I think that's all there is to say. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and. Uh, if you see one of these, I highly recommend picking it up. Even just give it a shot playing it, see if you like it. You will have to have some patience with if you're uh, new to the locking tremolos. There is some patience and some maintenance involved. But it's not so bad. And then once you get it set, it's good. You're good to go. You don't really have to worry about it. Until you want to change like string gauges or tunings or stuff like that but even then it's not the worst thing in the world maybe i can make a video about that that'd be fun all right catch you next time